ready. Let's do this! <laughs> We are here in Southern California at the Smashbot Tournament. This is a small local event hosted by Jerry and the Kronos team. Thank you to those guys for putting together a wonderful event. This is how a lot of us BattleBot contenders actually get our start. We go to small local events where we test out different ideas and designs and different weight classes, such as flea weight, one pound, three pound, and so on. Diane and I have brought our Bot Bash Arena, and we're letting the local kids play and battle our little robots to help get the excitement to start working on their own. We are not competing, however, Daniel, our TA from the Bot Bash Summer Camp program, has brought a robot of his very own. This is the third version of his one pound robot. Sorry, you ready? One of the most valuable parts is walking through the pit area and talking to the other contestants. Everyone is coming up with new ideas constantly and developing new ways to fix problems we've all been working on. To see what some people use for their drive motors, what people use for batteries, what people are using for tires, different construction methods. You'd be amazed. Most builders are an open book when you come over to talk to them about their little babies they've been working on. And some teams go way over the top and bring multiple robots in multiple categories. It is just amazing to see the ingenuity, hard work, and dedication each one of these builders put into their creations. And the personality and silliness, and a little bit of fun with the names. Small tournaments are always some of the most fun out of all robot fighting competitions. Thank you all for coming. I know it's been a little hectic and a little behind schedule, but I really appreciate everybody's patience. Let's, uh, let's go kick some butt once we're ready to kick butt. Yeah! Did he pass? He passed. <laughs> Looks like this guy's bringing super on the ropes. All right, drive forward to get out of it. So where are your robots? Shoot, that's what I didn't pack. Oh. They're, they're, they're over at the safety table. You brought all the screws and all the parts. I know, we're all ready. Dude, super, you look much more organized. Super, super extra, you gotta be. So, which one, which two? Here we are with the event EO. How are you doing, Jerry? Doing pretty good. A little stressed, but I'm okay. <laughs> How's your event going? It's going very nice. We get a lot of support from the team, and you guys are holding it together, really. This, this has been incredible. Six arenas running is quite the accomplishment. Yes, it's quite an ordeal. <laughs> I feel like you tripled in size since the last time I saw one of these. Is this the most arenas ever at an event? Ever. ever I've ever. way to do it. There's very few Cinderella stories like Rusty where they just start on the show. 99% yeah. of us 
go to these local events. We go, we break things, we learn things, and then you make a big robot for BattleBots. That's why we're way so much better than Rusty. Oh. Bring it, David. <laughs> Should have changed your name. Should have come to Malice. <laughs> shade Throne. Gauntlet shade. Throne. So much shade. Rusty's going to pick up that gauntlet. Are yeah. you ready for that? I'm ready to, I'm ready to fight the god, Rusty. <laughs> Some of you might know him as Dr. Inferno in Inferno Labs, but some of you from the new series might know him as Disco Inferno or the Infernal Judge. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. And I see you've brought some special Halloween box. Alright, so how, what game are we playing, Jason? Oh, this is a uh, Butto Lanterns. <laughs> Norm important. Normally we'd fill these with candy, and last person to lose their candy has to eat it all. bots look a little familiar it's because they're made out of this it's a finger tech viper kit I know my old one here looks like hell but you'd be amazed the beating these little kits take and what I recommend for people instead of trying to do your big huge super robot fighting idea uh, just buy a kit and go to your first tournament uh, what that will do is you'll get down there and you're going to learn so much from the other builders from just being in the pit area. I tried for four years to build my first robot and I, I earned a, an associate's degree at the junior college, but I didn't actually build a very good robot. I, it wasn't until Terry Slocum, the pit chief from the Vlad the Impaler team, took me to a tournament and let me run one of his robots and I got to meet everyone and I got to find out how everybody does everything usually a hundred times easier than the way I was doing it, that I actually got a good foothold in the sport. So for everyone getting into the sport now, I recommend you pick up a kit like this one from Fingertech Robotics, hashtag not sponsored. What's the deal with that, Curtis? You could sponsor Scorpios. Um, but pick up a Fingertech kit, go to the Builders Database or the Combat Robot Group on Facebook, find a local tournament, and get yourself to a contest. You will learn so much there. You'll have a grand, grand time. It's the best way to get started in the sport. And there's my tips. Finger Tech Robotics, one pound Viper kit. Find a one pound competition around you. Go to Builders DB or the Robot Combat Facebook group. That's where all the EOs put up their tournaments. So that's my advice. Go do it. Let's get back to the show. Wamper, are you ready? Ready. Wamper is ready. Uh oh. Malice versus three, Whiplash. Two, one. Fight robots, fight! Oh no. The frog's weapon might be stalled out. Congratulations today on the big victory. Thank you. So I want to. I wanted to ask you. Did you get your start at BattleBots or did you get your start at something like this? Definitely got my start at something like this. It's uh, very hard to start with BattleBots, but uh, yeah, come to small events, build ant weights, plastic ants, fairy weights, and if you want 12 pounds, it's definitely doable for a beginner, so yeah. Two, one, fight robots, fight! Daniel and I, with the Multibot Wedge 1 and Wedge 2, have managed to make it all the way to the finals.
category we got Lopper. So Daniel, I believe this is your very first time you have placed top three in a competition. How does it feel? It feels great. And you're going home with your first robot trophy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do want to congratulate you and I want to take this moment to say this is how we all get our start in this sport. You build a small robot, you go to a local tournament, and you fight your neighbors and find out what works and what doesn't work. Yeah! And if you want to get into robot fighting, this is the blueprint to do it. So Daniel, thank you for letting me tag along on your multibot today. This was quite the journey. I never imagined we'd be in finals, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, I would never have gotten there without you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And I wish you luck at your next tournament. There's gonna be a next one, right? Of course. <laughs> the wedges are coming back. <laughs> Diana, you've been fighting robots all day. What are you going to do now? I'm going to Disneyland! Woo! Woo! Hey Diana, where are you? I'm in Disneyland! <laughs>